Hi, I'm Tom Rosenbauer, and this is the DSP Slush Slam. Target Slush Slam, a carp, a sucker, and a rainbow. It's rainy and misty and snowy and not historically, traditionally good carp conditions. It's miserable. Do you feel great shame right now? No, oh, it was fun. I mean, <laughs> the bobber went down, I set the hook. Ah! All right, let's get this one in the net. So much for three feet deep. Don't get in that current, you <laughs> I want to be doing that. Really. What's the, the day hold for us? So right behind us, we have a nice deep pool with potentially the state record sucker. Um, there's fish in the 18 to 22 inch class. Uh, it's a big old sucker. Could be trout up that far by now. And it is a carp rest and retreat spot. So there are carp in there. They're not generally feeding in there. Usually they move to the flats to feed. Today with the weather, who knows, it's a wild card. Yeah, um, it should be interesting. Yeah, so there's all kinds of stuff. I mean, we never know. You could see a walleye today. It's, uh -huh. There's walleye in the river and it's walleye weather. Um, we can move down into town. Um, there's a pretty good stock of rainbow trout in there. They're pretty big, 16, 17, 18 inches. They're feisty. Um, it should be pretty easy to eke one of those out in the conditions today. Um, and then we can go way north into kind of the industrial hub and see if we can find the magic light where we could see and feed a carp. Sounds interesting. Yeah. Tom, how do you feel about shooting for the moon? Well, you know, I, I, I love exploring and I've never fished the South Platte here in town. I've fished it for trout, obviously, other places. And so I'm excited to see see what's here. And I, I urban fishing is fun. You know, it's just, it's different. And um, you never know what you're gonna catch. So I, I love the, uh, the exploration aspect of it. I have this nice little uh, rechargeable hand warmer ah, you that, I left, that I left in the hotel room. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So the drop off is right on the edge of the fast water. Okay. And essentially I'll just cast up. Normally there's not foam there from the outfit, so it's nice. You can see it. Yeah. I'll just roll up in there. Yeah. And then just keep your men's just so the tension on the fly line just kind of pops it down in that soft spot. Okay. And like it'll be uh like when the sucker eats it'll get straight down. Like uh-huh. And okay. there's smallies in here, there may be a trap in here. So we could put or or catch a from that. <laughs> Most likely probably. <laughs> In the butt, Bob. It's a beautiful day here in Denver today. It's nice and warm and balmy and the fish are rising, the bluing olives are coming off and we're just having a ball. Not really. Um, it's miserable, and, uh, but it's fun. Uh, you know, you, you, learn, you learn new things when you fish in really lousy, inclement weather where you've never fished before. So I'm hoping to learn a lot of cool stuff. Today. Yeah, can we get an update for, uh... oh, Rick's got one. He's got something. Photoshop that bottom. 
I feel like you should lean into this one. Is that a five foot? Yeah. Keep your head up, buddy. Look at that. In the, in the mouth. Cool. You want me to net it? Uh, I think he's done. You're running out of room there, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm almost there. Fish. The slush slam was, <laughs> was in uh, was in jeopardy. Yeah. Slush slam's back on, baby. The slush <laughs> slam is on. Uh, look at that, in the mouth. He ate that. Cool. What did he eat, the leech? The worm. The worm. Yeah. Interesting. Adios, buddy. All right, we need an update on, this, on the uh, slush slam, Rick. Slush slam is going. Um, we were bobber fishing for species other than carp, and somehow we caught a carp in the mouth, so we'll take it. Uh, not the most exciting way to catch you carp. you feel great shame right now? No, oh, it was fun. I mean, <laughs> the bobber went down. I set the hook. It put a big bend in the glass. It was mm -hmm. in the mouth. We'll What'd take it every day. Uh, I caught him on there? our good buddy Andrew Gillow's heavy metal worm. Yeah. What, uh, what rod were you using there? Uh, the five weight Orvis Superfine glass and a nice right hand retrieve hardy click and pull. Yep. Uh, made it a little sporty at the end, but it's always a fun time. Tom, is the slush slam on? It's on. It's Let's on. get another species, Tom. I'm ready. Get a sucker out of there. Yeah. Yeah, I've been kind of working back and forth along this wall to see if. I never thought sucker would be the challenging one, but it may be today. Yeah. I mean, maybe with the newfound respect they're given, they've, they've wisened up with pressure. Now that people are actually treating them like true game fish. Maybe they're a sunny, they a sunny weather kind of fish, yeah? Shouldn't be. Yeah. I have some, I have some, some other sucker spots in my back pocket. Right? Okay. If we need to get it out, we have some spots. Get a, let's get a slush slam update, Rick. Slush slam update. Uh, we are two species in. We just got a real nice white sucker. Uh, so we just need to get a trout and maybe up the ante and get one more bonus species. Let's the, see we, the super slush super slam? slam? Yeah, let's get a bonus species. If you were to equate each of the fish in the slush slam to uh, the traditional grand slam, yeah. like, where, where, like what, what have we ticked off right now? So we've got... Mm, Tarpon and permit. Yeah. We just need to go catch a bonefish. So, I mean, we're really ahead of the game. I mean, that's the honest. ideal way you want. You always want to start a slam with the permit. Right. And that's what we did. An unexpected permit. Yeah. Right. In non-traditional tactics. Right. All right, so we're at stop two. We're going to try to knock a couple more species out of the slush slam. We're at a really top secret spot. Um, I'm sure you can't see any discerning location features in the background, so good luck finding it. Uh, but we're gonna go catch. We're gonna go catch some other fish. Hopefully, some trout. I'm I'm warmed up. Uh, we, we had a little drive with the heated seat, so that was nice. 
uh, I haven't caught a fish yet. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you gotta get, but, you, gotta get but it, that, uh, you know, fixed. I gotta get a fix. Yeah. Gotta get a fix, yeah. It's Tom's yeah. time to shine. Yeah. yeah. get down there. have come up uh, exponentially with the rain so they're not as concentrated as here but we were able to eke out a trout and complete the target slush slam a uh, carp a sucker and a rainbow so now we're going to go try to find some more weird stuff and hopefully sight fish and carp that's the end all be all of the day see any fish in there they were on the opposite they were on the outside of the oh, flat yeah. pushing up hmm. i was just hoping this pipe would be going and there would just be three or four tails just right there mm. Mm. i can't see the closer one he might have been one of the ones that pushed out Where's this mud coming from? I see one over there. Yeah. On the other side, going into the shallows. Uh, the, that fish in the flat is still coming up at you. It's kind of a long shot with no back cast though. I mean, even if they all spooked out, they got to come back here eventually. There's really nowhere else yeah, for them to go. Yeah, they're not going to hang in that current, are they? All right, let's get this one in the net. Looks like a nice fish. Yeah. Yeah, he felt heavy. He's, he's playing us. Ah! No! Damn! This one, anyways. Holy! <laughs> oh, that's deep. <laughs> Can you help me, please? <laughs> oh! How am I gonna do this? <laughs> yep. So much for three feet deep. <laughs> that was fun. You right there, I'll get him. Yeah. He's, he's coming, he's coming. <laughs> Don't get in that current, you <laughs> Here he comes. Let me just keep... I'm glad I wore all those warm clothes today. I'm gonna have to pull the hook out of this one. At least he's staying in the hole. Yeah. Come on, just show me your face and I'll scoop you. Here he goes. He's coming back. 
See if I can lift him. You don't dare. do it. Don't He's got to be about tuckered out. <laughs> oh, good fish. No, get out of that current. No. Come on, come on, slide back here. We got a second wind. Guess we got to go. Let me get out of your way here. Maybe I can keep him from going all the way down there, though. Uh-oh. Come on, buddy. Here he comes, he's coming up. Here we go. You can just swing him over, I got him. Okay. Oh, get out of the way, tree. Oh, shit. Please, 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 please. I'm coming around, I'll get him down there. Where's he at? Gulping. He's almost done. Dude, did I take your camera? Oh, good. He's moving upstream. Here he comes. You get behind him, they jump out of the front. Okay. Here we go. Okay, here he comes. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'll slide him over. Oh, get in the net. <laughs> must, it must be well hooked. Yeah. He's oh, on the leech, huh. too. He's on the leech? Yeah. You can just give him like a little lift to me, Tommy's in. All right. Oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Shit, I'm, I can't get up. <laughs> well, that was a that was a wild one, Tom. Whoa, I guess so. He's fat. He is fat. I'm a leech. That was a wild one. <laughs> Can we get like a, a see at the buzzer yeah. kind of wild fish are cool. Yeah. Hello! There's a release. <laughs> I wanted to do a slow motion. I wanted to do a slow motion that? release. That was yeah, it was, yeah, that was I mean carpfish has gotta be crazy, right? It's got new intel on the depth that you yeah. didn't have before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that uh that was not what I expected right there at all. <laughs> Get it at the buzzer, Tom. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my God. The slush slam. Except it's not slushing anymore. Now, now it's muck. It's a muck yeah, slam. Muck slam. Okay, time to go.